Hi everyone. Welcome to Art Sonia's After School Art Club. Today, we have a fun art project from Kat Arguetta, an art teacher from Texas. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Art Sonia gallery. Hi, I'm Katherine Argetha, and I'm a middle school art teacher at Cavazos Middle School in Lubbock, Texas. Today, we will be learning how to draw a cat. For today's video, you are going to need a piece of paper, something to draw with. I will be using a black Sharpie and whatever colors you may like to add to your cat. I'm only gonna add a few colors, so I'm gonna use a pink and yellow marker. The first thing you're going to do is take your drawing utensil, again, mine is a black Sharpie, and you are going to draw the head, okay? And the way that I draw that is I'm going to do a curve, like I'm doing a half of a circle. Then from here, I'm gonna meet at this point right here, but I'm gonna make it a curved point. Just like that. Now, the reason why I'm drawing the head like this is because I also have a cat and her name is Ladybird. And she's a very thin cat and so her head looks just like that. So now that we have the head, I'm going to start drawing the legs. Now, with the legs, or the front paws anyway, I'm gonna start right around here. So not halfway, about a fourth of the way on the head and I'm going to do a curved line, just like that, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Now, once I have that, I'm going to bring this even more in and come down. So the same thing, more in, come down. Then right in the middle, I'm gonna draw a line, and then I'm going to round this part for the paws. Now, I know that looks pretty funny, but those are only the front legs. So now it is time to draw the back legs. So starting about halfway, I'm gonna come out a little bit, come in, and then draw the paws. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, about halfway. Okay, then I'm going to draw the tail. So I'm gonna have the tail come from right around here. There you go. So now it's time to finish the head of the cat. So I'm going to draw the ears and my cat's ears are very, very pointy. So I'm gonna draw some pointy ears. And they're just triangles up on the top of the head. Now I'm also going to add the inside of the ears because when their ears stand straight up like that, you can probably see the inside of them. Now, my cat, Ladybird, is what you call a tuxedo cat. And so her fur is black and white. And on her face, I'm going to draw her pattern that's on her face. So, Right here, right next to the ear, I want you to draw a curved line. And now you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side, right next to the ear, draw a curved line. Then I want you to draw the mouth. So right around here, I'm gonna draw a J. Then, I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but I'm gonna mirror that J and go the other way. Then I'll connect right here for the mouth. Then the nose is going to be an upside down triangle, but instead of sharp corners like my ears, I'm gonna have rounded corners. Now it's time for the eyes. So these are not the eyes. That is the pattern that's on Ladybird's face. So what you're gonna do for the eyes is draw a lemon. 
I always call them a lemon because it just reminds me of what a lemon would look like. You've got the two corners here and the rounded body. So I'm gonna do as close as I can to this on the other side. So this looks pretty scary at first, but we still gotta draw in her eyeballs, okay? So Kat's eyes are very long compared to our eyes. So you want to draw your lines like that. So not a circle, more like an oval. Do the same thing on the other side. And then right in the center, you're just going to draw a thick line. And now, since it is a cat, we can definitely not forget the whiskers. So Ladybird has some really long whiskers. So you'll just start here where the mouth is and draw some lines coming out, just like that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like this because if I color in this part of her face black, it's going to hide some of my whiskers. If you want to add a few colors to it, then you are more than welcome to. One of the colors I'm going to add is some yellow to her eyes, because her eyes are pretty yellow. Then I'm going to color in the inside of her ears with pink. And I'm gonna color her tiny little nose pink as well. And just to add a little personal touch, I'm going to write her name up here. And her name is Ladybird. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.